Migori County Governor Okotho Bado has had a rough time since election in 2017, August. He came to the public's attention when he was allegedly accused of being responsible for the murder of a 26-year-old Rongo, Rongo University student, Sharon Otieno. He still has a pending court case on the same. He is out on bond. A brief history is that his full names are Zachary Okoth Obado. He emerged top in the gubernatorial elections, defeating his co-competitor Ochilo Ayako. This made him the first governor of Migori County. He was born in Migori County, married to wife Helen Okoth, and he has children. He studied at Trapogi Secondary School, after which he joined Kenyatta University to pursue a bachelor's degree in education. After teaching for a while, he did a master's in strategic management still in Kenyatta University. Before joining politics, he served as the chairman of Kenya Sugar Board. Most describe him as a calm, polite, straightforward and a good manager. This has also been seen in few developments he has brought in Migori County. Nevertheless, he is under pressure of impeachment. This after the embattled governor was arrested on presenting himself to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, EACC, offices in Kisi. He was in the company of his children, Dan Okoth, Susan Scarlett, Zachary, and Evelyn. He was then accused of misappropriation of county funds, that is about 73.4 million shillings. Also accused were his family friend Jared Quagga and his mother, that is the mother of Jared Quagga. Kwaga Penina Auma. It is said Obado held an indirect private interest in several contracts that paid money into his children's account. On August 31st, 2020, he was released on a 8.7 million cash bail. The chief magistrate, Lawrence Mugambi, ordered that he be barred from accessing Migori County offices until the case is concluded. His children were also released on various bail amounts. The ODM party leader, Ray Lodinga, has therefore directed the party in consultation with county MCS to resolve to have a motion to impeach the governor immediately and have the deputy governor, Mr. Mahanga, to take over. ODM National Chairman John Mbadi and Secretary General Edwin Sifuna also held a briefing over the same at Orange House, Nairobi. In a statement by ODM party, and I will quote, It is clear that Obado's continued stay as the governor will lead to a serious stagnation in Migori and exacerbate the incompetence and failed service delivery. Migori residents deserve better, hence the decision by ODM to remove him. End of quote. If everything goes as planned, Obado will join the list of Kenyan governors who have faced the impeachment process. On the ground, Obado has a very fierce support that people fear will not go down without a very serious fight. Kenyans have aired their thoughts. Some feel that any sane person would not object to impeach the governor who is facing murder and corruption charges.
Others, however, felt that the ODM party should leave the court to do its investigation and come up with a conclusion. For now, the fate of the governor is unknown. So here is a sample of views from Kenyans on how they felt about the scandal Governor Obado is involved in and also whether he is worth being impeached or not. So I hope you can read them and let me just read a few. One man here myself said, we are busy dealing with our own issues, please deal with yours. Another one said, I support you CEO Callisto. Another one said, ODM dictatorship movement, bring it on to Migori, it must end in premium tears. Hmm, okay. Actually, the comments were so many, you should check on Twitter and see how people aired their views concerning this. Another one said, Obadu will not be impeached, ODM is too desperate, they might even call for dissolution of Migori County. From KBC Channel 1 sources, ODM is set to begin impeachment process of Governor Obado on Tuesday. The county speaker has also claimed that his life is in danger over the impending impeachment of Governor Obado. That's the news as per now. Please tell me what you think on the comment section about the impeachment of Governor Obado. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel.